G'day everyone, welcome back to Nerdlings Asylum. My name is Tom and today we are going to be making an initiative tracker for D&D. So to get ready for when we're allowed to leave the house, catch up with people and do things, because that I think that might be happening at some stage in the near future, we're going to need to have some kind of initiative tracker. We could just write names down on a piece of paper, but that's, that's a little bit lame and boring. So I thought that I would make something. Now I'm not going to make like the normal kind of initiative tracker of having some kind of a pole and magnets with little names on it and stuff like that. I could do something like that, but I don't have any of that kind of stuff. So instead what I have got, Bond got a bunch of these little tiny different colored skulls. So I'm going to use these. Like I said, it's not your everyday initiative tracker. This is something a little bit, a little bit different. So, using these, let's make a D&D &D initiative tracker. First off, we need to put around everything and measure. Measuring is key. I measured so much on this. And now, get rid of the excess because it's a little bit too long. Just get rid of that. Just using some XPS foam from the hardware store. It's super cheap, very easy to cut, and works out surprisingly well. So I didn't really, the depth of it, I just kind of just went, yeah, that'll do, which is fine. Everything else was meticulously measured time and time again. So gotta make sure it's all nice and smooth and feels good, which it does. And again, just flipping stuff around. No real rhyme or reason. But that's this is gonna be the basis for the it's kind of like a, a mountain top, I guess you could say, in a way, like a ridge that I'm gonna put the skulls onto for the initiative tracker. Uh kind of getting that. Vlad the Impaler thing of impaled heads uh, when you're going into the campsite or something. Yeah, I don't know what I was going for here, I'll be honest. But yeah, just just cutting away at the edge on an angle. As you can see, just slices through like butter. Very, very easy. And yeah, just, just getting a general shape because this is all going to be covered up anyway later on down the line. So doesn't really matter, it's just, just the guts of it all. And after filing it away, we sweep everything up and flip things over and there we are. There is the, the structure that we will use. So we get rid of the back so it's nice and flat and we can put, put some MDF sheet around it to encase everything so it's all nice and neat and tidy. And with a bit of Gorilla Wood Glue. <laughs> Just dab a little bit of this on. A few squiggles here and there. And this stuff doesn't melt through the foam or anything. That was one thing I was a little bit worried about. So I did do a test. Uh, it doesn't melt through or anything. And being wood glue, it bonds extremely well. So slap those together just like thus after flipping it around a bit. You gotta flip it around. If you don't, it won't work. A little pro tip for you. Slap that down on there and you want a good tight bond so put some weights on it to really seal everything together and now whilst that's drying we're gonna find our fortune here i don't know what that means but going to use these matchsticks here as the spears 
so what, these already had holes in them which is super handy so just shove one straight in through the bottom another one in the top and then fiddle around with a knife for a while make sure it's nice and secure give it a few tests and it's not going anywhere and this was not a very good way of doing it but I was just marking around so I knew where I wanted the point to be realized that that's not working it just snapped that yeah, makes more sense just to snap it and then we're just getting to whittle the end down into a nice sharp point the sharper the better make sure it, yep that's that's pointy nice and sharp and just there we go there it is gotta make sure it's still pointy and yeah no it's it's still sharp I don't know why I made it so sharp doesn't need to be but boop, there we go and that just needs to get repeated till all of the skulls are done And there we are, that is a whole bunch of skulls there, all with varying, it's, it's all sort of just eyeballed, I don't want anything to be the same height because I feel like it just doesn't look good. Give it a little bath so that it's not so pristine looking. Now while that's soaking and dry, well, drying now, after having a soak for a while, we are going to be using this stuff, which is for patching holes in walls. Um, I don't. I tried to get some sculptor mold, but where we buy stuff from, we're all out because, yay, that that's what I wanted. So instead, I had this lying around and decided to use it. It was a bitch to get on, but it worked out really well. Watered down glue. And I'm just gonna lather that over everything now that it's all dry and put down woodland scenics. Just the grassy, dusty grass stuff thing. Yep, uh, blended turf is this one, as I can see there on the bag, just for some color variance and then go with a spray of watered down glue again, just to seal everything in. And we're just gonna repeat that on the front as well just so that it actually looks like it's a the top of a bridge and we're just gonna seal it all off with some more watered down glue now for the skulls to finish them off to make sure that the spears don't fall out because some of them go in really tightly some of them are very loosey-goosey so I just put a little bit of hot glue in just force the bottom part into skull set it down like that, did all of them, and then went through and did the tops of the spears, so then everything is where it should be, and hopefully it won't come out, but it's just hot glued in there, so if it does come out, I can easily do another one. So there you go, that's what they look like. Now, to seal everything up together, I have to put MDF around it, the two sides, the back and the bottom, so then it looks all nice and neat. So just trace around it and cut it out and glue it together. This time the camera did not fall off the bench because I was paying attention to it. But there's one side. And then we're just gonna, after painting it, glue it all together and we're done. There's a D&D &D tracker, relatively quick and simple to put together. Is it conventional? No, not at all. But then again, 
I'm not very conventional in what I do. Is it perfect? Definitely not. There's a lot that I could improve on, but it's, it's kind of cool. I kind of like it, actually. So, yeah, there we go. There it is. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below with anything that you want to watch us build. Uh, any challenges or anything. We've got a few things in the works at the moment. That's going to be awesome coming up. And yeah, so hit the subscribe button. Hit the like. Let everyone know about us. And we'll see you in the next video.